Hello everyone, welcome back. After the last video, which was a speculation on Eve and Sarah's relationship and how everything was going to play out, it was a very interesting speculation video for me because I got to kind of dive into this and figure out some of the storyline. Sure enough, I've bits of that have been proven to be right, so let's go over this. This is episode 20 of Bill Divers Rerise, and this is, this is emotional, and uh, it has me both happy and worried. So, so far, Bill Divers Rerise has been a show that I've really enjoyed because of the way they changed things up from normal Bill Divers. I've always said before that Bill Divers was more aimed at children properly, or younger children, and was kind of this standard go from A to B scenario without much uh, struggle or without any risk of things happening to the main characters. And sure enough, we only saw them fail maybe a little bit, just a tiny amount, but uh, it wasn't like the other build series where you'd have more weight to battles, where suits would get completely destroyed when people failed and they'd have to rebuild them and things like that. Um, with Re-Rise, it's been a very, very nice change in that it's had a more mature storyline. It's featured such things as depression, as grieving, stuff that you, uh, you wouldn't get in a younger kids show. So, I like it from that aspect. It's more aimed at sort of like teenagers, young adults, and I, uh, I really like how they've done this so far and we've got to this point in the show where it's become really emotional and yeah it's <laughs> it's definitely what I expected so far and what I speculated on we get to see Eve who looks like she was actually the uh, the first L diver she's been keeping all the bugs from the uh, the break decals in check up to this point and uh, as a result of Riku and Build Divers and the Coalition's maneuver to uh, get rid of Break Decals and get rid of uh, Sukasa from the server in the first half of Build Divers. What's happened is uh, the Wings of Light projected by the Double O Diver or the Double O Sky, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, the Wings of Light have got rid of all of the errors there, but as a result, the uh, the remaining errors have all kind of gone into Eve and pushed her over the edge when she was taking care of stuff. And uh, as a result, what's ended up happening is that Eve has just, just had enough. She can't take any more and needs to be erased before the bugs get out and wreck everything again. So using uh, herself... As kind of a controller for the core Gundam, she gets Hiroto's core Gundam to shoot and erase herself. And uh, I feel sorry for Hiroto in that moment, primarily because he's confused. He doesn't know properly what's going on. The only friend that he's had on GBN that really seems to kind of enjoy it with him and make it fun for him has just died right in front of him. He's in a state of stress, confusion, grieving and anger at the same time. And as a result of this happening, this is why we see Hiroto in the show being detached from everybody else, feeling distant and feeling uh, a little bit lonely because he's depressed. He is extremely depressed by this point. And over the course of the show and him working with the new Build Divers, we get to see him opening up again. And eventually this is where we get to this point in the story where he's opening up to everybody and uh, is starting to lose it in terms of uh, his composure not his mental state just his composure and uh, he breaks down in front of everybody and tells them this story about how eve was under so much strain she was then erased and then when avalon did the second coalition fight he could have taken out riku at the very end when riku was on like really low health he could have sniped him with the uh, the uranus beam sniper but the problem is, if he'd have done that, he would have stopped uh, Sarah from being saved. And Eve, or Eve's last wish, was to help save Sarah. And to make sure that nothing like this ever happened again. So, in that moment, where Hirato sees the, uh, the suit piloted by Riku again, he's really angry. He blames them, because if it wasn't for them, then it's possible that 
you know, Eve could have been saved, or that all this would have been fine if it wasn't for break deck owls, then uh, Eve wouldn't have had loads of bugs in her system. There's a lot of feelings going through him at that point, but he blames Riku mainly because he saw the Wings of Light, and the backlash from that was Eve dying, and in that moment when he's gonna take the shot, he is so angry, you can tell, but then there's some conflict there in that he's he knows that Riku is there to save Sura. So he ends up being really frustrated and not taking the shot and then questioning what he's doing and uh, being really upset, of course. And that results in Sura being saved and getting taken out of GBN, and if they'd have only been able to do that to Eve, then maybe everything would have been better, and Hirato wouldn't be in this terrible, terrible state that he's in at the moment. Like, you gotta feel sorry for the guy, he's in so much pain, and uh, for those who can kind of relate to his his state, yeah, he's he's really hurting, so you'll understand it. And... Uh, this is the point where he really breaks down in front of everybody and Mei comes over and uh, has to comfort him. And Mei's the linking point between everything because if it wasn't for Hirato and Eve and them saving Sura or Bill Di the original Bill Divers saving Sura and with Hirato and Eve taking that early step to save the system from being overwhelmed, then none of the other Eldivers would have been born, and May wouldn't have been able to really experience life and fight for Eldora and, and really enjoy herself from what she seems anyway, from the, the little emotion that she shows. So, May and Hirato are connected in a really nice way that I like, and as I speculated before, uh, the show as we know, is a spin-off or a side story to Build Divers, so we knew it was going to be connected in some way. I speculated the last time that Build Divers would be held up a little bit better if they were connected between uh, what happened with Eve and Sarah and just how it explained it. And I do like that the two are connected now, the fact that we know that Eve and Sarah were around at roughly the same time, and this was all going on. It kind of gives you more of an idea of what happened with Bill Divers and makes the entire story as one complete thing a little bit more enjoyable, but there was some concerns from people the last time uh, in the video, in the comments, saying, you know, like, th oh, this will just make uh, Re-Rise terrible because it's linked in with Bill Divers, and we didn't really like Bill Divers that much. I honestly don't think this takes away from Re-Rise, if anything, it adds to it, because we get the overall context for everything. I, uh, and I even though it does add a little bit more to build divers to prop it up and make it a little bit more enjoyable, it doesn't take away from what was negative about that show. It only, I think, it only adds to Re-Rise in terms of it gives us full perspective on everything that's happened and has led up to this point. The, the main things that I'm concerned about now, or the main thing that I'm concerned about now, is going forwards. Uh, we've had a lot of recycled footage in this episode, and I hope that that's a sign that they were using the budget elsewhere for giant fight scenes, or at least really well animated fight scenes. I'm hoping that's where the budget has gone. Um, the only other thing that has me worried now is one scene exactly the, the morning after May is erased or at least it looks like the morning after where Hirato is looking out over the lake and he looks up into the sky you can see clearly the the bird avatar of the main GBN admin the the uh, the one that's created everything that created the system that they talked to in uh, normal build divers you get to see her flying around and i hope that that isn't a sign that eve will come back in some way Excuse me. Only because, for me, especially with sh other Gundam shows and just shows in general, like IBO and things, I was on about this to a couple of people recently saying that death ha has to hold its weight for 
a, a story that features it to be good. So, for instance, if you have a character grieving for the entire show and trying to get over somebody's death, maybe it be a, a parent, a family member, or a friend, you know, you want them to ideally recover from that, yes, but not have everything instantly be solved by that person being resurrected. This is why... Uh, people sometimes have problems with stories like uh, Gundam Seed where characters will die off and then seemingly come back even if they've survived something which has been described as say a nuke to the face or whatever. The If they can survive that then death has no meaning or weight to it and as a result anybody could then come back. So death becomes pointless as a uh, a story option you know after that you just can't do anything and have it have that emotional weight to it and uh like i said because of the admin being around and with eve saying she's not properly dead she's still in the system she's just there is chunks of data i'm hoping to be honest that she will just stay as she is now where she just appears uh every once in a while to speak to hirato only momentarily you know remind him of what has happened and to kind of spur him on I would prefer it if she was more like that because she fills the role more of a ghost now than anything else and that weight of her loss is still there because ultimately that's Hirato's driving force is uh, Eve and his grieving for her and then trying to prevent anything terrible like that from happening again and to suddenly resurrect her or to eventually resurrect her and uh, have her back and have her and him be uh, together again that would just ruin not only the story but his entire character arc and uh yeah it has me incredibly incredibly worried that that was even shown there i'm hoping it's just a slight reference just being like oh check it out it's the admin you guys remember the admin if you've watched build divers right i'm hoping that's the case uh again I'm still really enjoying the show. There are only a few more places we can go with it, including the the very ending shot of Misaki Shido, um, finally seeming to be starting breaking out of his brainwashing by Alice. Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to go back if I wanted to do a speculation video on where this could go in future, as to uh, you know like get, do research as to where it could go and all the little uh, details that we've been given. But at the moment, I'm I'm just happy with this episode and how everything has gone so far and what's led up to this. Hopefully, with all the grieving that has been done this episode, Hirato will be a much better character in future. He'll be spurred on by uh, his memories of Eve and just trying to avoid really, really bad things from happening again to a... Uh, on a large scale i was gonna to say to a large group of people but it's on a large scale something similar to uh, to gbn being taken out so uh, the only thing i can think of is that he'll become a much better pilot and defend everyone on eldora like he, he's already claimed he's gonna do in uh, eve's memory but anyway what did you think of this one what did you think of uh, my speculation and how everything's gone so far my take on this what did you think about Eve and the way that this linked into Build Divers, Hirato's character, and how everything is now linked together? I'll see you in the comments section for, for your guys' commentary on this, and uh, we'll see what happens on the next ones. So until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!